But now to the winners. Uh, number one, you want to start with AJ Rose, AJ Rose Jr. Yep, I I I was impressed by him. Twenty five rushing attempts. I know right. that's a lot, but he also had a hundred rushing yards. There's moments I'm like, dang, this guy's good. Could he be competing with Kane and Wangu? Kane and Wangu, yeah, yeah, Kane and Wangu. Was he the guy you mentioned earlier who got hurt? I, if he did, yeah. I completely yes. missed that. Really? Yes. Is it like a serious thing? I completely I, I missed it. I, I'm not sure the severity of oh, it. Oh, yeah, whatever. <laughs> I, but, yeah, AJ Rose is just absolutely great. You win all that. Zimmer is a run first offense. And, and him being with that durability, again, 25 yep. rushing tents yep. or 100 yards. He's not He's not going to get that every single day. Um, no, certainly not. And he could be competing with Nwanu. And I mean, more, what about Amir Abdul? Abdul. More like, what's what's the current depth chart of running back? Is it Cook, then Madison, and then a trio of Wong Wu, Rose, and uh, so yeah, and Ma- the, the, you know, Abdullah? Is there a clear number three? I don't really think so. So right now, what I'm looking, looking at, according to ESPN, number one's obviously sure. Dalvin Cook, then Alexander Madison, then Abdullah, then Uwanu. All right, yeah, I I mean I, Rose, I don't know what his role could. Maybe he can carve something out, but. You know, again, it was a week one preseason. Kind of just an expl- he was one of the few that exploded in the in the right way. Also, how do you get twenty five carries and lose by like thirty? That didn't make a ton of sense, but okay. I don't know. I mean, I'm cool I, with it. I I'm mean, just confused I mean, as to what his role could be. Vikings haven't been the most uh, how do I say this forward thinking offensive team. You know, they're sure on defense they'll do whatever it takes, but offensively it's just you know, all right, run the ball down their throat, throw a few times. Like there was a stretch of four games last year where I think Cousins averaged like seventeen passes a game and. Hey, they went three and one or something, but damn. No. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Whatever. I mean, I, hopefully, I I do hope they go more pass heavy. You gotta at some point. Definitely do more play yeah. action. Just give. Yeah. And I saw you know the hype with KJ Osborne, who I think probably right. had one of the best training camps and off seasons. He put in the work. He had a couple catches. He was solid. He wasn't bad. He was again. He's meh. Then again, he wasn't targeted as much. So was he. Okay, so yeah, winner number one would be AJ AJ Rose. Who'd you have for number two again? Was it was it Osborne? No, no, Chris Boyd. Chris Boyd, right, right. He, okay. he was the only like shining part of that team, of that defense. Him and um, Troy Die were the two of my favorites in the game against the Broncos. Sure. Chris Boyd had like five tackles and an end zone deflection that was thrown to Jerry Judy. He was just. How would I say, like, a just a dog. He was just straight up just flying to the ball. And that's what we need in our corners. Our corners 100%. are super young. We do have Patrick Peterson. He's been basically on his side here. Here is Patrick Peterson right here. Here is Chris Boyd. And I, I really like Chris Boyd. He's a cocky guy, and that's what I like. If he... If he wants a challenge, you know, Chris Boyd sees, I don't know, maybe Adam Thiel's like, hey, I want to 1v1 you. I want to see that. I want to see that, you know, fire in their eyes. They're young and they're hungry. And you have guys like Devontae Adams, Devontae Adams. Oh, God. Alan God. Robinson, who Al Robinson's father is Chris Boyd. Chris Boyd is, again, great offseason. Whenever he's at training camp, he's always putting in extra reps. He's one of those few guys. Dantzler, Boyd, Mon, a lot of other people were just putting in those extra ups because they know sure. how good this team can be. Yeah, absolutely. Oh. And they know how good they can be if they work for it. Absolutely. Yep. Yeah, Osborne was one of the most notable ones too. And we mentioned him, but third third winner. So we got so far number uh sorry, I completely forgot who the first winner was. Uh, AJ Rose. AJ <laughs> Rose. Yes, number two, Chris Boyd. And number three is Greg Joseph. Hallelujah. Greg, Greg Thank Joseph. the Lord. Let's go. The kicker. Two for two. I know it's, it's, I consider a W because, you know, I'm still having PTSD from Dan Bailey and Mike. I, I would always say be quiet. He can hear us and he just missed so many kicks. I, I'm one of those people that 100% believe that we would have beaten Tampa if it oh, wasn't yeah. for the reps and it wasn't for Dan Bailey. I don't complain oh, about yeah. the reps. But that game was absolutely, absolutely BS. And Dan Bailey's BS as well. And for me, could Greg Joseph, and again, two for two from 25 and 34. I want to see him do a little more from 40, right. 
40, 50 plus. The expectations are just so low. <laughs> yeah, I mean, can can you kick it far? Fine, let's do it. I mean, yeah. I think I think my <laughs> teammate that my old football teammate that kicks for Western Kentucky can can do it. <laughs> we have not recovered since that wide left from no, I, yeah. I, I, I don't know. It. Sorry, sorry for bringing all the bad memories. But yeah, those are winners for today.